Well, yesterday we met Gronkle, one of the smaller dragons, but there are some other ones that will really get your attention when they come on stage or if they're standing right behind me. You'll be transported to the land of Burke with Hiccup, Toothless, and other less friendly dragons like Nightmare. Nightmare is the scariest one, so forgive me for being so startled. How do you make them look so lifelike? Well, they are operated by puppeteers who are stood out in the audience, and uh, it's, it's a system that's called voodoo, which is a great name for it, and uh, they are the people who put the magic into the beast. David Wright, the show's production manager, says there's also a person hidden below the dragon to help control it. Whether they're walking, flying, or chasing one of the Vikings, they seem to take on a personality all their own. It doesn't matter how many times you come on this floor, whenever those things come towards you, you always take a, you always, a second take as if it's real or not. Right, and it's especially that. Woo, I don't think he likes that. It's hard not to be startled by this one. And this, oh, I think he was leaning in for a kiss. I don't know. Maybe. No, I guess not. <laughs> It took 50 designers, engineers, and many other people a few years to bring the creatures to life. So how do they feel? Well, sort of like you'd expect. Scaly, kind of soft, but definitely realistic. It's a show like no other. There's a powerful storyline based on the hit DreamWorks movie, acrobatics, and fire-breathing dragons. Ed, and I want to see that dragon breath. You want to see that fury? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, watch out. And that is when he's really mad. This is a show you are not going to want to miss. You saw me jump several times. That's because they are really scary up close. But if you were in the audience, the kiddos will likely not be scared. I saw lots of little toddlers there. The kids absolutely loved it and adults alike.